Bonjour, hope you're all good. Welcome back. I'm gonna do a quick Avia inside cabin room tour, show you what's in here, show you all the space, so show you the TV, show you the bathroom, and yeah, let's do it. We start off, our room is 10456, and as you enter, this is what it looks like. So because I'm here with my little brother, we do have two beds, so he has got this bed, I've got that bed. Beds are really comfy on Avia, to be honest, that the they're comfy on most cruise ships I've been on. They're really nice. So in the cabin, you've got mirrors here. You'll have some of your little bit of extra storage, two cabinets just for you to put stuff in. Then on your left-hand side, you'll have some, some art. You've got some cupboard space here, which basically will have a fridge in it. If we open up the fridge, I don't think we even used the fridge in our last cabin. Oh yeah, we did actually, we did use it. It is strange having a fridge below the TV, but do you know? I'm not a designer, so I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you if that's, you know, contemporary these days. Oh, we've got an ice bucket here, more storage space to put your clothes. Telephone there, and like I see, you've got your TV, which you can watch your mustard drill on. You can watch movies. They've got play and demand movies on there, BBC One, things like that. And then to the left, we have a desk, so you'll get your Her Daily Horizon. Today's Saturday, the 28th of January, and it'll basically just tell you, so we're in Antigua at the moment, telling you, you know, oh, that looks a lovely picture of Antigua. Oh, look at that picture. It looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, easy. Oh, they've got a spa special on as well. 8 a.m. till 10 p.m. The day 75 glorious minutes of treatment. I know what I'll be doing today. Anyway, you've got your workspace, got a lovely desk workspace to sit and chill. Then we've got more coffee making facilities and tea. We'll have our biscuits. Oof, be eating them later. Whole milks, PG tips, sugars and sweeteners and brown sugar. Loads of coffee, two glasses, two cups. You'll have your rise and shine menu. So your rise and shine is your breakfast menu. Basically, you can just tick what you want or put the numbers in, do that. And then you've got your in room dining menu sorry I'm dropping things on the floor here in room dining menu if where there's various different options for food that you can order if you want to see the menu just pause the video at any point and you should be able to pick up what's on the menu apologies because it's an inside cabin the lighting isn't the best that's one of the things when you get a, get an inside cabin it just is what it is we've got welcome aboard Arvia, which will be your information guide which will just have various things on just things that are happening on board while you're on the ship then to your right hand side well actually we'll go to the door you'll have your muster station so our muster station's deck seven and it'll tell you there again apologies about the lighting i am trying my best here you've got a safe in here so you'll have a safe where you can put your numbers in hair dryer more storage facilities you've got your toiletry bag if you want to use the laundry service on board and you've got some hangers here more things to hang clothes up it's quite a big space this and then lastly we have the bathroom so you've got your toilet you've got your sink um molten not molten bread Oh, I wish it was Morton Brown. We've got White Company in the bathroom, so we've got your hand soaps there, hand, hand wash. Then you've got two um, things that you can hold, like toothpaste and razor and, and things like that in. You've got the shower, more Morton Brown products in here. You've got the bath and shower gel, and then you've got shampoo. Can I just say, we've been on board now for seven days, and the showers are absolutely fantastic on Arvia. They really are. I can't... I, I can't can't fault the shower space. I'm not the smallest person. I'll show you. I can fit in the shower absolutely fine. Um, you know, I can pretty much hold my hand out if we close the door. So we'll close the door. Um, you know, I'm almost six foot and that is my hand. Um, you know, my, there's a lot of space in here. So if you're worried about, oh, you know, is there gonna be enough space in the shower? Am I gonna be all right? I can assure you the showers are a, a reasonable size. Let's touch the towels, you know, see if they're nice and soft. Yep, the towels are lovely and soft. Just another quick thing to add as well, in this room, you do have the aircon units. So the aircon I have found to be really good, apart from when we first got on the ship and there was sewage blowing through them. Um, that is a long story, and I'm gonna save that for the vlog 
Xbox Series. This is a reason why we've switched cabin, guys. There's a reason why we're, we're in this cabin now, we're not the other cabin. But anyway, yeah, so this, you can put it really warm and you can put it really cold. All the temperatures to me are good. We're gonna put it really cold because we are in the Caribbean and it's like 30 degrees. But yeah, not had any issues from the air con, never felt too warm. In fact, actually, to be honest, it's perfect. I would say it's perfect. So if you're worried about air con or fresh air and stuff like that, don't worry, these, these keep you these keep you good but anyway guys that is my quick stop tour of the inside cabins like i say i have already spent seven days in these cabins if you guys have any questions or want to know anything in regards to like how the tv works or what you know what it's like being on an inside cabin just let me know below this has been one of the first cruises where we've done in an inside cabin i did go on um a royal caribbean ship last year and I didn't inside for three days. I thought it was fine. And the price difference between an inside on this ship and a balcony on this ship, the price difference was insane. So we just decided to do an inside. And like I say, I've been on here for seven days thus far and we're really, really enjoying it. Um, bit of the cons of this cabin, I will definitely say compared to another inside cabin that we were in, is this cabin seems to be darker. So I was struggling walking around this cabin with, with the camera because it kept, you know, the focus was playing up and stuff. Um, but if you're just in here generally and you're not looking to take pictures and that you'll be absolutely fine but anyway guys if you like this video make sure you smash that like button if you haven't clicked subscribe already hit that subscribe button i just want to say a huge thank you to all you guys if you do want to see more content like this i should have a full cruise vlog series of Arvia on my channel so if you would like to watch that the link is below and thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video guys enjoy your day enjoy whatever you do see you soon bye